In this lesson, we're going to show the technique called stack division in order to find the prime factorization of a given number. This is an alternative method to creating a prime factorization tree to find the prime factorization of a number. As the name implies, we'll be performing division in order to find the prime factorization of our numbers. And we'll actually be dividing by prime numbers. So for reference, I've listed the first several primes given here. One more thing before we start. Let's review a few of the divisibility rules that involve prime numbers. A number is divisible by two if it is even, which means it ends in a zero, two, four, six, or eight. The second rule to me is probably the most valuable divisibility rule of all of them. A number is divisible by three if the sum of the digits is divisible by three. For example, 336 is divisible by three because three plus three plus six is equal to 12, and since 12 is divisible by three, so is 336. And then finally, a number is divisible by five if it ends in a zero or a five. So now to find the prime factorization of 300 using stack division, I've seen this shown two ways. We can start at the top and work our way down, or start at the bottom and work our way up. Let's start at the bottom. So we're going to start with 300, and work our way through the primes, determining which primes divide into our dividend. Well, 300 is even, so 300 is divisible by two. So we'll start by dividing by two. 300 divided by two is equal to 150. 150 is still even, which means it's divisible by two again, so we'll divide by two again. 150 divided by two is 75. Now 75 does end in a five, so we could divide by five, but let's first check to see if it's divisible by three. Well, seven plus five is equal to 12, and since 12 is divisible by three, so is 75. So let's go ahead and divide by three next. That way we'll have the prime factors in order from least to greatest. 75 divided by three is equal to 25. The next prime number would be five, 25 is divisible by five, so we'll divide by five next. 25 divided by five is five. Well, five is also divisible by five, so we'll divide by five again. Five divided by five is equal to one. Once we have a quotient of one, we're done, and we now have the prime factorization of 300. Prime factorizations are here on the left. We have two times two times three times five times five, is the prime factorization of 300. We may be asked to write the prime factorization using exponents, so we can also write this as 300 is equal to two to the second power times three times five to the second power, or five squared. Let's take a look at a second example. Now we want to find the prime factorization of 693. So we'll start with 693 at the bottom. Notice that 693 is not even, which means it's not divisible by two. So now we'll see if it's divisible by three. To do this, we'll add the digits to see if that number is divisible by three. Well, six plus nine plus three is equal to 18. 18 is divisible by three, and therefore, so is 693. So we'll divide this by three. Six divided by three is equal to two. Nine divided by three is equal to three. And three divided by three is equal to one. Now we want to determine which primes divide evenly into 231. Well, two plus three plus one is equal to six. And since we can divide six by three, we can also divide this number by three. Now this division problem is a little more challenging than the previous one, so let's go and show a little bit of work. We would have 231 divided by three. There are seven threes in 23. Seven times three is 21. Subtract two, bring down the one. Again, there are seven threes in 21. We have a remainder of zero. So the next quotient is 77. 77 is not divisible by five, but it is divisible by seven, so now we'll divide by seven. 
77 divided by 7 is equal to 11. And the next prime is 11. 11 is divisible by 11, so we'll divide by 11. And 11 divided by 11 is equal to 1. And again, as soon as we have a quotient of 1, we know we have found the prime factorization of the given number. We now know that 693 in prime factored form is equal to 3 times 3 times 7 times 11. Or using exponents, we would have 3 squared or 3 to the second times 7 times 11. So stack division can be used to find the prime factorization rather than using a prime factorization tree if you prefer. I hope you found this helpful. We'll take a look at one more example in the next video.